Okay, welcome back. I hope that that was a successful foray into rotation with this compass rose. Um, the next step is to try to get incrementally established with the next level. Let's find out what we have next to do. Okay, so we've got this initially. Next thing is to gonna is to create this area and the spires. Let's just finish this thing. Okay, so initially I'm hit spacebar and move this into position. Show my other artwork here. And at this point I'm done with those guides. So I'm gonna go to the guides and unlock the guides or just clear the guides. Let's do that. All right, so I'm going to select this. You know what? Now that I look at this, it's a little bit difficult to see from a distance because this saturation on this color is so bright. It's hard to discern what's real and what's created and what needs to be done. So what I'll do with this is I'm going to double click on the image and I will dim that to say 50%. And now I can see what I've done and what needs to be done. And that helps. Command zero. Okay. Command deselect. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to grab this circle and hit Command C and copy, make a new layer. In fact, I'm just going to hit this circle. I have that circle selected. Shift click on this and I'll hit Command C to copy that. And then I can put the eyes out of these, start here, and Command F places them right in the right spot. And I'll get rid of the fill. And let's see, what am I going to do with this now? I'm going to get this circle and create these two. Click and hold, Option Shift, drag it out. Command C, Command F. Click and hold, Option Shift, drag this in. Space bar and Command key to zoom into the area I want to get closer to. And so this green element is already done, but now I need these just behind these two circles. So the rotation tool is there. The cursor is already for the rotation. The center axis is already in place. So I'm just going to drag these to get in the center here. And at this point, I know that this whole layer is going to be that golden color. So I'll hit Command A, go to my swatches, hit the gold. And then I can go to my layers and we can see that I need to move this down below here and we can check our progress. Okay. And click away. So far so good. Unlock these. Pull this image up again. So the next step is two more circles and to copy both of these spires Pathfinder them together and rotate them so they make up the centers here, here, and here. So first things first, let's create a new layer and we can place it down below. And I'm going to get this circle, Command C, Command F, click Option Shift, drag it out, Command C, Command F, drag it in. Whoops, what happened here? I think I lost something. Okay, let's try this again. Command F. I just needed to keep my layers organized. See how sometimes you can get confused. Command C, Command F. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm going to get rid of the top circles and I'm going to click and shift click on these two and I will hit command C and that allows me to get rid of these. Click on layer 5, command F. I'm going to pathfinder these together and they need to be golden colored. And rotation tool is still selected and I've got the cursor where I need it to be. So I'll just rotate these to be right here. And now go to the layers, put the eyeball out, and we've completed, for the most part, this compass rose. Let's see what needs to be done. 
Okay, so the spires need to be rotated, no, not rotated, but these spires in the back on layer 5 need to be put to the back. Right click, arrange, send to back. And that's what we're looking for right there. So this is an easy thing to fix and to finish up. So I'm going to hit on this circle, command and click, command C, command F, click and hold, option shift, go all the way out, and command C, command F, come all the way in. And that exterior stroke, I'm going to beef that one up. There's my stroke. And down here where you see a line stroke, that's centering the stroke. So I'll show you what that does. The stroke is right in the middle of the end of the shape. Command Y, you can see this is the end of the shape and the stroke is coming in and out. And if you look this, this is aligning stroke to the inside. And if I click that, it goes on the inside. If I go here, which is what I want, it's gonna to go to the outside. Command zero and shift click and right click and these go all the way to the back and that completes the compass rows with the exception of the floor to leave which I'll do in a moment and we'll get the final element of this compass project.